Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. <coughs> welcome back to some, welcome to the new. I'm doing everyone's February readings and I'm on the sign of Pisces. So what are the messages for the sign of Pisces? Messages for the sign of Pisces. For February of 2018. What does Pisces need to know? I'm in a weird mood. I don't know what it is. Like I don't really feel sad. I don't really feel happy. I'm kind of like in the middle and I'm like, meh, meh. You know, it is what it is. What are the messages for Pisces February 2018? I hope you guys are having a good day. It's kind of cold, but at the same time, it's not super cold of freezing. I don't know. Four of Cups came out on the table, so... Maybe you're kind of thinking about something, you're in your feelings because you have your cups, you have four cups, but you're like, I don't know, I don't really feel, I'm not really feeling this, you know, maybe this person that is feeling like that, it's kind of, well, it's actually your energy, so you're... Maybe you wanted, I feel like you just wanted something to be something and you just like, now that you have it, you're like, I don't really even, this doesn't even make me happy, you know? So you have the Four of Cups and then you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So the person, maybe the person that came in wasn't what you thought. Next you have the Six of Swords. So you're moving on from something or you feel like you need to move on from something. Transitioning from something to something. The bottom of the deck is a death card in reverse. So, could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you're feeling like you're stuck. Because there was some family stuff going on. Something that was kind of unfair. Some lies were around it. But you have the Five of Pentacles, so... You're like not wanting to be less left out in the cold, or maybe you're dealing with a earth sign, possibly a Taurus person that doesn't want to be left out in the cold by you. But you kind of want to be single, or maybe this person is coming off like they want to be single. On the table, you have the Four of Cups, so kind of that contemplation like, meh, not really feeling it. You know, he's got his arms crossed and he's sitting there. Even though he does have the cup above his head, like, maybe you wanted something and you're just like, mm, I don't really know. Maybe you had some unrealistic, um, unrealistic hopes of something that you thought would be better. But once you got it, you're just like, I don't know. So you feel like maybe you need to move on. The Queen of Wands in reverse is, uh... She kind of is cold and aggressive and angry. Just that angry energy in general. But then you have the judgment card in reverse. So I feel like someone feels like they made the wrong choice or they know they made the wrong choice now. But you do have the Magician card, so you do have the tools to manifest whatever it is you want. That is the Infinity sign, so kind of a soulmate, maybe. Page of Wands is a passionate person. Um, they usually come in pretty fast. They know what they want. It could be a new job. Just some kind of a new idea or project you're working on. But you have the Page of Wands in reverse right next to it, so some kind of bad news that came maybe you are feeling like 
there's too many choices or just commitment issues in general that's going on, maybe due to some past abuse. So that's why you think you need to move on, but the, you do ha you can pretty much do whatever you want with this is what I'm kind of seeing, you know. Um, some people didn't really come to you correctly. They're still not. Maybe they're in the past. They're outside people. You've got someone who's kind of angry and aggressive. You've got someone who's kind of bringing you bad news. The other person... Not really feeling them either. I feel like you don't... I just feel like the people that are coming towards you, you don't really want them. And you thought you did. And you know, I think maybe you kind of know that you can um, do whatever you want with this. But you're not really sure. Pisces are one of the most um, psychic signs. So I'm a Scorpio. But they like mo most of the best readers... I think you need to speak your truth, Pisces. King of Queen of Swords. She doesn't take any shit. She comes in. She speaks her truth. She cuts out the bullshit. I think that's what you need to do with some of these people in your life. But what I was going to say is that some of the best um, readers are Pisces. Because they are very intuitive and very psychic. So I feel like you guys aren't dumb. You see things for what they are. And you don't really speak on it, but you know. And more than most people, I think. So you have the Queen of Swords and the Four of Cups in reverse. So... You're kind of like declining an offer, I think. Or you feel like there's a missed up. Somebody, maybe somebody feels like there's a missed opportunity. But there's going to be um, new hope returning. Maybe recovering from something. But it does talk about a new job as well or a new home. But I think that you do need to go in and cut the bullshit out, okay? So that you can have something new that you actually want in your life. So then you can be, you can go and do what you want. You're going to know what you want to do. <sighs> but you feel like you're not really able to move on. Maybe, maybe there's a fire sign that caught your eye. And you want to go for them. And you can't move on from them. That's why you're not interested in somebody else. I think. All I know is the Queen of Wands is like a bad bitch. She's really hard to ignore. She's full of herself. She's passionate. And she's usually really attractive. So she kind of gets what she wants. And I feel like you could be either that person. So ten of uh, Wands in reverse. And you need to say no to somebody. You need to take a break. Maybe some of these douchebags that haven't changed. Knight of Pentacles. So you do have... Uh, Slow moving, but they're still coming in, and they're pa they're patient and hardworking, and it could be a new job offer, but they're reliable. That's important. Is there any? What's the advice for the sign of Pisces for February? justice in reverse again so there is some dishonesty going on there is some unfairness um i think you know that though nothing really gets by y'all in the same way you catch bullshit a mile away and you're just like i feel like <laughs> i fuck with people i'll just let people continue saying whatever the fuck they want to say but it's like just kind of see how long they're going to continue on with the bullshit you know it's amazing actually What's the advice for the sign of Pisces for February of 2018? It's time to make some choices. Or they're, they're going to be made either way. There's going to be clarity. Wake up call. Speak your truth. Because there's going to be a new job. You're really Someone is going to have a new job or a new home and... Um, Recovery and hope, okay? And maybe it's with an earth sign. Taurus. You never know. Happiness is coming, okay? Maybe this king of swords. Maybe this air sign. These people come in. They know what they want and they get it. 
and your life is going to move forward. Okay? Have a good day.